morning students welcome to the mathematics class today we are going to continue the same topic of indefinite integrals where we will be continuing the different types different forms of integration students please have a look on the board we have already discussed the first and the second type of problem as you can see these two in the previous classes why because we were following the seven new more standard integrals introduced to you today we will be continuing the same class and i'm going to start this entire session with the third and the fourth type fine so i will be starting with this type first then i will be starting with this type then what is the difference between the basic difference between the third and the fourth as you can see here there is no square root in the denominator we do have and how does it change then the formula changes but i will be taking a problem where we have to first go for a substitution and then the particular substitution will help me to get such type of forms correct and then i will manipulate the integrand in such a way so that i will be getting a standard integral so this is the first problem i'm starting with please have a look on it in the numerator you can see it is 2 sin 2x minus cos x dx in the denominator we again have a combination of sin and cos okay so let us convert into in one terms so that i will get a proper uh, value of the integrand and for that we need a proper substitution okay first of all it is sin 2x let us convert it into 2 sin x cos x then what it will become 4 sin x cos x so can i write it like this if a cos x is common i hope it is clear cos x is common in the denominator this is cos square x let us convert this cos square x into 1 minus sin square x what it will become then 1 so this is i hope understood i am converting this cos square x into 1 minus sin square x and a minus sign is in the in the front so it becomes like this in the next line the value what i am going to put as t that will be sin only and for that reason i have taken this cos x dx out but first let us make the denominator in a proper way so i will be getting the denominator as say it is sin square x in the beginning it is a quadratic no it is a quadratic polynomial in sin x i hope all of you have noticed this particular part now the time comes for a substitution so let this sin x is t sin x is t then cos x dx will be dt cos x dx will be dt see here so the entire sin cos will turn to now t and dt so for that what i am going to do here the sin sin x becomes t then i'm going to here you can see the dt sin square x is again t square minus 4 sin x is minus 4t plus 5 c this is after converting the sin cos everything in the terms of a new variable that is t 
this is a substitution method used here okay now please look that the form i was talking about px plus q by ax square plus bx plus c isn't it the same type i was talking about okay in the numerator this is rational function and in the denominator it's a quadratic in the numerator it is a what of degree 1 correct now in this particular type of problems we need another category of substitution or manipulation that is why these forms are very important now for this notice the denominator what it is it is t square minus 4 t plus 5 what will be the derivative of this t square minus 4 t plus 5 yes that is 2 t minus 4 am i right so if somehow i am going to convert the numerator i am going to convert or make out something from the numerator this particular factor then i think it will become a bit easy for me to find out the integration. So for that purpose, what I am going to do, see. Here in the numerator, focus here very carefully, see here. It is 4t. But I need here a 2t. So that is easy because if I am going to take a, like, 2 common here, a 2 common, then it will automatically become what? 2t. But I after taking a 2 common, that is not enough. I need here a 2t minus 4. So, see, my numerator here is 4t minus 1. I am going to write that one as 2t minus 4. Okay. So, for that, I need something else. I need to take common something else. That is, Remember, I have taken a 2. And after taking a 2 common, then 4t will become 2t. But that minus 1 will become half. So, I was having a half. But this minus 4 was introduced forcibly for getting the entry and proper. So, a plus 4 is added. Please see here. How the numerator 4t minus 1 was manipulated. Once more, I am telling you the 4t minus 1 is manipulated in a way that a 2 is common when a 2 is common a 2 comes out and this will become minus half so minus half so see here 2t because a 2 is common so 2t is okay and this minus half because a 2 is common correct but I need here a 4, I mean minus 4. So minus 4 is introduced. Again a minus 4 is adjusted with a plus 4. So entire numerator remains the same. Okay. So see what I am going to do now. I will be applying the separating of numerator. This is how much? This is 8 minus 1 that is. plus 7 by 2. What I am going to do here, I am going to apply a separating the numerator, this with the denominator and this with the denominator. How it is going to make it easy? Let's see there. So, this I am erasing. Now, in the numerator, once the first numerator part will be written, the first numerator part will be written, see, and a 2 is common that I am keeping outside only. So, 2t minus 4 dt with the numerator and the denominator, how does it look like? And a 7 by 2 inside the integration sign I have dt and the denominator 
t square minus 4t plus 5. Only a simple adjustment has given me something very easy. Both of it now is going to become in a formula. Now tell me students, this is, if this is suppose a variable u, the numerator is du. So you can calculate this one or complete this integration in your mind also. You need not to show me this much step jump is very much allowed. So I am also going to do the same and I hope you people have understood this particular thing. Why suddenly I have written log of the denominator that is t square minus 4t plus 5. Clear? Next part. Next part, some workouts are still left here. Let us go for a completing the square method. Can I write 5 as? So this is a formula for t minus 2 whole square. Okay. So again the first part. You must be thinking why ma'am has not written a T. I will write it. Let me finish first all the calculation of the integration. Here one more last step is left out for me. I am writing here T minus 2 whole square plus 1 square. Now definitely this is again giving me a formula of what? X square plus A square type. No? Dx by x square plus a square and what was the formula for that? You must write down before applying the formula. That is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. What did I say? 1 by a tan inverse x by a. You must write down. The more you will write down before applying the formula, it will be learned very nicely. Okay. Now, the last thing we have to do here is to write down the formula for that. So here the a part is 1. And the x part here is t minus 2. Remember that. So 1 by a means 1 by 1. Tan inverse. Tan inverse x by a means. This plus c. Now I am putting plus c. So this is. Again, 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. Last thing, what is left out? Tell me that is, we have to put down t is equals to sin x. So, the last part which is left out that I am leaving on you, you all substitute sin x in the place of t. And what you do? You can multiply this 2 also inside. And this 2 will be over now. So, this is the final answer. I hope this particular type is understood. So, after this type, let us move to the second type of problem. So, here is the second problem. And you can all notice here that I have a, taken a square root over here. But here in this problem also, I have taken something in the functions of exponent so that I will first convert it into a proper by using a proper uh, substitution convert it into a proper integrand and then I will apply the formula. Correct. So see here e to the power of x will be the best choice to put it as t and e to the power of x dx is going to provide me the value of dt only. So the entire numerator, so the entire numerator is now what? It is dt only. So it is dt and in the denominator square root of 5 minus 4t minus t square. See? Okay. So, in this particular problem, what are you finding? That we are having, 
the denominator which is to be manipulated for a completing the square man method. Understood? So, let us continue the one. It is dt. Now, in the square root, 5 minus 4t plus t square. Now, to complete the square, I must introduce here a 4. But introduction is not sufficient. I will add a plus 4. Correct. So now this is 5 plus 4 becomes 9. And this is t plus 2 whole square. So I am writing here dt by square root of t plus 2 whole square plus 3 square. See? t plus 2 whole square and uh, just hold on, there will be a minus in the front. Because there is a minus in the front. So, what formula does it reveal? It is a formula of root over of e square minus x square. And that is sine inverse x by a plus c x by a plus c. Okay. So, here definitely the x part is how much? t plus 2. And the a part is how much? 3. So, the final answer by using the same formula is going to become So, here following the formula I am going to write the value of this one as sine inverse. x by x by a that is a here is 3 plus c. The last step, yes, the last step here is to substitute the value of t which is e to the power of x. So, this is the problem. Okay. But what happens? The fourth type I was talking about. If you still have something in the numerator and you do not have only a dt in the numerator. So for that I will give you one more problem. Okay. Where you have something in the numerator in the third type what we were having px plus q. So this is only dt by the square root. So I am rubbing this one and I am taking another problem for you. So, let us begin with the third problem. Integration. So, the third problem you can see on the board I have written from type 4 category I was talking about in the very beginning. So, in this particular type I will be starting or I will be doing this particular problem in some different way. What is that different way? That the manipulation of the numerator according to the derivative of the denominator I did in the first problem. Okay, you must have noticed that is by adjustment. Correct. So, here the another way I will be telling you will be by comparing the coefficients of the variables and the constant. Okay, so let us see what will be the derivative of the denominator that is which is under the square root 6 plus x minus 2 x square. The derivative of this particular thing is going to become minus 4x plus 1. Understood? So, I want to say that I need minus 4x plus 1 dx in the numerator. Okay? But, I do not have the 1 I require. What do I have? I have 6x plus 5. I have 6x plus 5. So, in this particular case, what I will do? I have already planned that, okay, this is or this should be my 
derivative in the numerator that is minus 4x plus 1 should be there in the numerator. Okay. Now what I am going to do the numerator which is 6x plus 5 I am going to write it. I am going to write it in terms of the required one that is some constant a times of minus 4x plus 1 and there will be definitely in the adjustment there will be definitely one more constant that is b. So this is important thing please do focus here the numerator is here 6x plus 5 and I have written the numerator as a into some constant into minus 4x plus 1 from where am I getting this minus 4x plus 1 suppose I am putting here p as 6 plus x minus 2x square then this dt is minus 4x plus 1 into dx from here am I am getting minus 4x plus 1 you must know that now by equating the coefficients of x first so x so what is x here? The coefficient of x here is 6. So in this case, in this side it is 6. Here it is minus 4a. So my a is coming. That is 3 by 2 with the minus sign in the front. Now, equating the coefficient of, equating the constants. Not the coefficients because it is 5 on this left hand side. And the right hand side it is going to become a plus b. Fine. Now calculating b that is 5 minus a. It is going to become 5 plus 3 by 2. So this is 13 by 2. C children. So I got here the value of a and b. Now the numerator I am going to write. The numerator I have. As 6x plus 5 but I will be writing the numerator as a into now the a is clear in front of you because I found just now the derivative of the denominator plus 13 by 2 is the entire thing this entire part is very important those who cannot go with the adjustment method just by adding subtracting uh, taking common and all that they will follow the same just now I have completed here and now it's the time to separate the numerator so I'm writing separating the numerator this is the derivative of the denominator part that is 6 plus x square uh, plus x minus 2x square with 13 by 2 outside dx by the same factor 6 plus x minus 2x square. See very carefully. See how I have changed. The same way in the first problem I did but there I calculated in some different manner and here I found a and b in some different manner. Now this is what? If the denominator is t as I have already taken this one as t so it will become root t. So it is and the next line minus 3 by 2 outside dt by root t. Okay. And here. Here there is no use of putting this t. It will be calculated in the different way. Because I will be turning this one into. Completing the square method. So look here. How can I go with the completing the square method here. It is minus 2x square plus x plus 6. Okay. So here all of you see to go for a completing the square method. I need to manipulate the entire thing. What I am going to do here. Suppose this minus I am going to take first. I am going to put here a minus sign and a minus sign here. I hope there is no problem in that. Now one more thing I am going to do. I am going to multiply one more 2 throughout. So there is a minus half. Okay. So this will become 4. 
this is 2 and this is 12. Is it okay? See this part? Fine. Now let me finish this part also. This is t to the power of half in the denominator when it will go up. That is t to the power of minus half. So the formula for that is t to the power of minus half plus 1. That is root t by half. So in that case this part is going to become the integration of this entire thing is going to become root over of t and a half in the denominator which turns up and it will become 2. So this 2, this 2 will cancel. So this part is first part is over. Okay. I am not bothered about it. Just remember this first part is over. That is minus 3 root 2 and t you all know what it is. Now let us concentrate only in this particular thing. So for this I am writing the 1. Let me erase this part, particular part and I don't need another substitution here. This part is also over. Mm. Now see this one. This is 13 by 2. And a dx here. This is what I was doing. No. So, in this case, have a look on it. This particular, if it is going to multiply, this is 6. This is 6. Or you can even do here, see this is 2x whole square. This is 2x whole square. But in this particular thing, here it is 2, but I do not have a 2x. I must have a 2x. I must have a 2x, no? For the completion of this one. Okay. So, 2 into 2x, but I don't have a 2x. So, am I clear again a half 5? Because here it is only 2. So I need a 2x. But another extra 2 will be managed by this. So I have a half. Half square. But where is that half square? Nothing. Nothing is here. So this half square will be managed by adding a minus 1 by 4. So see how it is looking. Here only I have completed, calculated the thing. This is 2x whole square once more. So 2 is multiplied and a 2 is managed here, balanced here. So in that case, the formula of a square minus 2ab. So I added a b square and I subtracted a b square. So minus 12, so it is going to become minus 49 by 4. What it is going to become? Minus 49 by 4. Correct. And a minus half is already there. You can all find here in this particular thing. So what I am going to do now. I will take out first of all this root 2. I don't need it here actually. Fine. A minus sign is definitely there. That I am going to keep it up. So I am writing freshly. Here again the entire thing we are going to write it freshly. This is a formula of 2x minus half. Look at it. 2x minus half. Sure about it? But a minus sign will enters. So this will come in the next part. That is 2x minus half. Whole square. This minus enters with this. So it will become. 49 by 4, can I write 49 by 4 as 7 by 2? I hope you don't mind with that. A root over of definitely is there. And uh, 1 by root 2. See this 1 by root 2 is outside. When it will go up, it will become a root 2 and it is like this. What I want to say, you have multiplied this negative sign inside. But a 2, 1 by root 2 will come out. Correct. So this will turn up and like this it will look like. Huh? So what formula is it? This is a formula of root over of. See, root over of a square minus x square. The same like the previous one it came now. So I am going to. Rewriting, rewrite this entire thing. So, here it goes. See, 
This minus 3 root 2 was already there, huh? I cannot forget about it. It must be there. And this particular T, this particular T was the main problem we were having. That I am substituting later on. And 13 root 2 by 2 sine inverse. Sine inverse x by a plus c. Okay, sine inverse a plus x by a plus c. Okay, and the last part which was there, just substitute the value of t and here it goes. Okay, so what have you gone through? The three types of problems we discussed. The first time we have already discussed in the last class. So I did not took, uh, uh, took a problem from that particular part. So I want you students that you have a lot of problems. I will be sending you. Okay. And still you have uh, other books also. You do practice these types. These types will carry minimum four marks. Definitely. These are very important as... Uh, we are continuing discussing these type of problems and what I want to conclude one thing that substitution plus use of proper standard integrals. This should be known to you very well. Application of the fam formula should be known to you very well. Then only you can put, a, put down a interrogation the answer very quickly and definitely correctly. We have a short of time so sit back with your watch and start completing your problems because the exams are now uh, just knocking at your door you know all of you know that we are having our half yearly exams in the next month only it will be starting soon so not only 15 uh, days are left out for us no so please revise the previous topics also as i finish off with this integration we will be having some revision classes also and keep practicing well and what have a good day